Hello everyone, welcome to EMAP. Let's solve this equation. Four integers, a plus three ab plus b is equals to four. So let's find a plus b. Let's take out three a from our first two terms of this equation. And what's left in the brackets is one over three plus b. And then plus b is equals to four. We have three a bracket one over three plus b. Now let's add 1 over 3 to both sides because we want to have a common factor. So plus b plus 1 over 3, all this equals 4 plus 1 over 3. Now b plus 1 over 3 is a common factor, so we can take it out and we have b plus 1 over 3 and then times bracket 3a plus 1. All this equals to 12 plus 1 over 3. Now let's multiply both sides by 3. So we have 3 and then times bracket b plus 1 over 3 and then times bracket 3a plus 1. All this equals to 13 over 3 and then times 3. Now we have 3b plus 3 times 1 over 3 is 1 and then times 3a plus 1. All this equals to 13. Let's write it again, 3b plus 1 and then times bracket 3a plus 1 equals to 13. As you should know, 13 is a prime number. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that when you factor it, you know, the product of two integers, then those can be 1 and 13, the number itself and 1. But you also need to consider the negatives because we are looking for integers, not just positive integers. If you were looking for positive integers solutions, then you would just consider 13 times 1 and 1 times 13. But we are going to look at four different cases. First, let's look at this one. 3b plus 1 is equals to 13. 3b is equals to 12. And this means b is 4. And we have... 3a plus 1 is equals to 1, and this means a is 0. Let's sort with 1 and 2. In the second case, a is 4 and b is 0. Now let's look at the fourth case. 3b plus 1 is equals to minus 1, 3b is equals to minus 2, so this means b is equals to minus 2 over 3. And 3a plus 1 is equals to minus 13. 3a is equals to minus 14. So this means a is equals to minus 14 over 3. And in the third case, minus 13 minus 1, a is minus 2 over 3 and b is minus 14 over 3. But we are looking for integer numbers. And here a and b are rational numbers. So this is incorrect. Also, this one is incorrect and also this one. So the second one from the negatives is incorrect answer. But the first one from the positives is correct answer. So we have from the first one from the positives, a plus b is equals to 0 plus 4 or 4 plus 0, the same thing. All this equals to 4. So our correct answer is 4. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe my channel, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.